Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. So as mentioned in my previous video, I have a small issue. I have a couple of issues with the Panda, but one of the issues is it shakes at around 60, 70 kilometers per hour. This issue with the shaking has been a problem ever since I got this car, even back when it got a big turbo kit on it. But I'm going to try to see if I can balance these wheels myself using some uh, using some basic uh, methods and, uh, and tools. But let's try. It could be a waste of time, but it could also work and that would be brilliant. First thing, I'm going to take off a wheel. For some reason, I have the a feeling that the shaking comes from the right front tire. Uh, it can be very difficult to actually pinpoint it because it shakes the entire chassis, but I think it's from there. But I'm going to check both of the front wheels to begin with. That's one tire off. So I have never tried this before. So and you're going to be a part of the uh, of the maiden voyage on this attempt. But my theory is that I'm going to hang this tire by this string and I'm going to use this to center the hole. That way I think if the wheels if the wheel are hanging in this piece of rope that I can see if the wheel is out of balance. I'm really not sure if this is going to work, but it should do, maybe. Yeah, this is pretty centered, I think. So this cone form is going to fit inside of this wheel and center the string. There, maybe there's a, a less complicated way to do this, but I haven't really thought of it, at least. So now, I'm going to make a, maybe a bit higher, like this. Then I should be able to hang this tire in this hook over here, and hopefully it won't pull the entire ceiling down. Well, so far so good. And the exercise now is that the tire should hang flat if it's in balance, because if one side tips down, then it has to be more heavy on that side and I would have to add a weight, a weight on the other side, I think. Uh, I, I'm tempted to put a, uh, a bubble thingy. I don't know what they are called, but uh, one of these on it. But I don't think that is going to work because I will have to make sure that this is in balance to use that trick trick and I don't think it is. So what I'm going to do is to ju just try to use my eyes to see if I think it seems level. This is not going to be the most precise way of doing it for sure. But I think this looks pretty good. This is not the tire I was suspecting to be bad. So I'm gonna take the other tire off and take it over here and see if anything, and see if it's different. So this is the tire that I'm suspecting that the shaking, shaking uh, comes from, but it's just a thought. And I just realized that maybe this test works, maybe it doesn't because maybe the tires are in balance and it's not the cause of the shaking. Or maybe this method is just rubbish. I don't know. Whoops. Well, maybe I should make a bigger knot. <laughs> I had a feeling that it could happen this, so it, it's the reason why I put the table underneath. This is maybe not the most safe way of uh, doing this stuff, but it's my way. 
or maybe it's my way, I don't know yet. I'm not completely sure that this is going to work. Whoop. I think it is slightly out of balance, but I'm not sure. Well, actually, I think this is working. Uh, the best way, I think, would be to be make sure that your floor was completely level or your table, so you could take measurement from the tire to the table. I cannot do that because my garage is not straight and my table is not straight and nothing is straight in my house. But take a look at this. As I said before, I can't be sure that this is a good method because I would have to make sure that it was completely centered and all that, but it is giving me a clue. I don't know if the bubble picks up, but the bubble is over here. That is not straight. If I test it over here, it's the same story. It's not straight. If I test it right here, it's almost straight. Um, and it's not straight right there. So what I'm going to do now is, because at my local shop, I bought tools to do this, the tools I need to do, do it at least, for half the price of what it would cost to actually get them balanced. So I, save some money and next time I have to do this job I can do it for almost free. This tool should make it possible to take off the weight and put them on. As far as I know I have to put a weight on one side that corresponds to the uh, balancing issue you are having and you have to put one on one side of the rim and on the inside of the rim. So um, to begin with I'm just going to take them off. This seems to be the most obvious way, but I can't get it all the way down there. Or maybe I can, but then I can't take it up. Hmm. Maybe I can take it off with just a normal tool. Maybe the tool wasn't even needed. <laughs> That's one. And this is a 20 grams, I think, weight. And this should be one on the other side, on the inside. There is right there. And if I screw up big time, I can see where they were fitted last time and then just fit them again. But I would most likely just go to the shop and admit defeat. Then we should be able to hang it up once again. So it seems to be around here where the old one was actually located. But now I'm going, going to see how much it takes to get it into level. So I'm going to try with 25 and 15 grams. Remember they should be on opposing sides, but uh, this is just to test how much is needed. Let's see if this is in level now. It's really close to being in level. I'm gonna try with 225 grams. Well, I don't know if this method is going to do anything good for this car, but I think this is balanced now. So I'm gonna fit it where it is now, on one on each side. I think that would be best to do. So that is what I'm gonna do now. Then I'm just going to recheck the other one and then I'm going to go for a test drive. Remember the vibration could still come from the rear and could still come from the front because I maybe didn't do this right or it doesn't work, who knows. But I'm just going to test it either way. I'm a bit excited. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to fit this and go for a test drive. Unfortunately, it is completely dark outside, so it will not be filmed and it wouldn't really matter because I tried to film the vibrations before and it doesn't pick up on camera. 
So I'm back from the test drive and <laughs> it actually worked. It is still shaking a tiny, tiny bit at 60 kilometers per hour, but not at all as bad as before. Before it was quite intense for around five kilometers. Um, but now it's almost gone. And this was the first try. I'm pretty sure that I could make it more perfect. And I'm having a little issue with this method because this method makes it very important to sensor this cone. So if I could find a way to pull the middle of the tire more precisely, I think this method would be pretty good actually. So um, I'm going to think a bit about this issue and then I'm going to do it again at some point and I'm going to do all four wheels and do use a bit more time on it. Right now it's quite late and I have to go to work tomorrow, so no more time to play around. I think this, this method is going to work and it's going to save me a lot of money in the future. And also this is fun. This is one of those things that are really cool to do yourself, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, it could be done. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.